Hey, hi everyone. This is a reading of The Giver, chapters three and four, quiz. So here we go. Number one. Which of the following does not support the concept in the novel that everyone should be the same and no one should be different? Look, Jonas, he has funny eyes like you have. Gabe's comfort item as a hippo. Mirrors were rare in the community. There were no need for them. Attention, this is a reminder to females under nine that hair ribbons must be worn and be neatly tied at all times. So which of the following does not support the concept in the novel that everyone should be the same and no one should be different? Number two, what was so unusual about the apple that Jonas was tossing with Asher? It was a variety that Jonas had never seen before. Apples were rare in the community. It was rotten. It appeared to change in midair and Jonas couldn't tell why. Number three, what can we infer about Asher's personality? He is a serious, hardworking student. He loves to play and is easygoing and happy. He is, a, he is great at language arts and loves to play outside. He can always be counted on to have his work done early. Number four, what happens to people in the community when they get old? They move to the house of the old till they are released. They move back in with their children. They keep working till they are unable to work anymore. They all become part of the community of elders. Number five, Jonas made his apology and had been sufficient enough to produce the appropriate, rem appropriate remorse. What does remorse mean in the above sentence? Apologies for wrongdoings, enough of an apology, regret for wrongdoings, letter of apology. Number six, why did the new child, Gabe, come to live with them? He wasn't thriving and wasn't sleeping through the night. Jonas's family was assigned their third child. Nurturers always bring children home with them. The senior council determined that it was the best placement for him. Number seven, his eyes were light like Jonas's and were like looking into the clear water of a river. The above is an example of onomatopoeia, alliteration, personification, or simile. Number eight, Jonas rode his bike at a leisurely pace, glancing at bike ports looking for Asher's bike. What does leisurely mean? Slow, fast, carelessly, or recklessly. Number nine, what textual evidence does not support the claim that the ceremony of twelves is a very important one? Jonas is nervous about the upcoming ceremony. There is a ceremony every year. Their adult jobs will be chosen at the ceremony by the elders. Everyone from the village will be there to watch. So again, what textual evidence does not support the claim that the ceremony of 12 is a very important one? And finally, number 10. What happens when a person gets too old in the house of the old? They are moved to a nursing facility. They are released. They are moved back to their parents' homes. All of the above depends on the situation. Okay, so there you have all 10 questions. When you feel comfortable with your answers, please submit. Remember, you can use the book and you can use your notes to help you, uh, rather you check your back.